G'day, I'm Michael Thompson. I'm a Big Fix Technical Advisor for Asia Pacific based out of Melbourne, Australia. Down the bottom left hand corner you will find my QR code which you can scan to get in contact with me via LinkedIn. Today I'm going to show you about automatic computer groups and how you can use them to improve your functionality with Big Fix. So here we've got the Big Fix console and there's many different ways you can create a computer group but I'll show you some of the basics here to help you get started. So most of the things that we use with computer groups if we were going to use an OS one they're based off the basic properties that we would get inside of our um, computers tree. So we can see here if we have a look by native agent types here we can see the OS names here that show up. So that's the values that we're going to search on. So you can see we've got a full name here for Windows 10, including the actual version number of Windows 10. I'm just going to start with just Windows 10 itself. So we've already got a group here which is set up like that, but just to give you an idea of how it's actually configured. We've just got a OS contains Win 10. I've actually got an additional relevance here, which is checking that it's not a proxy agent. So the reason that I'm doing that is I have um, plugins and things like that. So I'm just trying to pick up the native agents only inside of this group and nothing else. So if we wanted to do something like create a group, say for um, picking up Apache servers, it's very simple to do. We just need to have some relevance that we know is going to work down on the agent level. So I've already done that pre-work and, and check that with the Q&A tool. So what we'll do here is we'll create a group. Now I like to have a naming structure which makes sense, which you can understand for most things inside of Big Fix. It's always good to have some standards. So here I'm going to say all and I have MW for middleware and then I'll say Apache. Now I'll leave it in the master action site because that's the site that's applicable to all agents and that's the site that gets evaluated first. I'll leave the domain as all content and what we'll do here is we'll specify that what we want is a relevance expression. Uh, we want that relevance expression to evaluate to true and so we're going to put in our relevance expression here. So for this one we're going to say exists process whose name of it as a string as lowercase equals actually the, we can do it that way but there's an even easier way exists running whoops Get our quotes right. And there we go. The great thing about relevance is there's more than one way to skin a cat. So you see there, I was actually doing a more complicated relevance query when in fact that simple one would work. So we'll click create. And now we'll just wait a few seconds or a few minutes, depending on how busy the agents are that have to evaluate against this particular relevance for them to report back and say, hey, this group is relevant to me. It's applicable. I'm going to subscribe. So there we go. I've only got one Apache server inside my environment. So that's worked well. So some of the benefits that you can get out of having automatic computer groups is you can set memberships on particular sites. 
You can also do things like um, target them for deployments. I've also created some custom properties for my enrollment. And one here I've got is location. So if we wanted to create some computer grids based off the location, we can simply do something like create new automatic computer group. And what I'll say is all location Melbourne. And then here again, this is going to be relevance because we've got a relevance expression, which is going to evaluate this. And what we're going to say is if exists the sitting location of client, then value of sitting location of clients equals Melbourne else false. So essentially what I'm doing there is checking that the setting exists. And if it does, I'm then checking if the value equals Melbourne. Otherwise, I'm saying it's false. So once again, we'll create this particular relevance group. And we'll just wait for it to populate. So we're starting to get some machines reporting back in as being relevant to this new group that I've created. How long it takes for all of the systems to populate into this group is going to depend on how busy those agents are at any particular time. But what we can now do, now that we've got all of these groups, is we could also set some information via site. So let's just say that you wanted to control at a great level how much people have access to particular sites. What we can do is go and create a custom site. We might say that this site is um, Melbourne Workstation Administrators. Actually, what we'll do is we'll do Melbourne Server Administrators. Melbourne Server Linux Administrators. So what we can do here is we can be very granular with our groups to how we're actually going to control the level of access to this. So we can go, right, what we want to do is make sure that what is going to subscribe to this site is a member of all Linux boxes. We'll change this to all. We'll also make sure that the group membership is location Melbourne. And we'll also make sure that the group membership is not a member of Apache servers because we don't want our admins to be touching our Apache servers. So that's a, a good use case for how you can use your groups there to be quite granular with controlling access to things. And it's just one of the many examples that you've got for auto computer groups. You can also use them for deploying software, baselines, those sorts of things. And it, because you've got a computer group, it's then going to be able to be used through things like inventory and other, other of the big fixed tool sets. So that's all there is for today's content. Here are some helpful resources for you. First of all, we have bigfix.com, which is your landing page for finding out further information on the product offerings. Uh, you can schedule a demo there. And there's also other great content. Next is support.bigfix.com, which provides you with product documentation, access to create support tickets, and details on events and webinars and other helpful links. And finally, we have forum.bigfix.com, where you can interact with other like-minded Big Fix enthusiasts and ask questions. And you can also engage with us via our social media channels on LinkedIn and Facebook. Thanks for watching. I hope the video was helpful and I wish you success on your continued Big Fix journey.